Good morning, my lovelies. I hope everybody's doing well. I am now doing a little close-up because we are doing a beauty video, you guys. I don't know if you guys remember, for all of you uh, that follow me, uh, we did a segment on uh, mature skin, and I think I was advertising uh, True Match Nude L'Oreal, and I was telling you guys how amazing this foundation was. It's not actually advertised as a foundation, more as a tinted serum um, hyaluronic um, acid uh, with a little bit of golden sparkles or hues to it. Now, I've been using it, you guys. I am in love. This is like my new go-to. This is all I'll put. Uh, I was addicted to number seven, the foundation, and I did that for maybe about... I want to say a good three to four years, all right? Um, and it's funny because I kind of advertised this one time and I was hooked. L'Oreal got me. <laughs> I'm always at the pharmacy every month. I do use a lot of it, uh, you guys. I wake up in the morning, I put it on. It does not move. It looks amazing. It looks flawless. It's helping with my skin. Um, it's got 1% of uh, pure hyaluronic acid. Um, and then I'm in shade 4-5, which is medium. Um, my skin, because I run outdoors, is a little bit more tan than usual. I think this is my whitish, and you can see I'm a little bit darker. Um, this is my whitish tint is what I meant. So it comes in a 10 ounce, so 30 mil. All right, um, I absolutely live by it. Um, it'll last all day, you guys, it's incredible. Um, and it's so thick. Not thick too, I mean it is liquid, but it's so resistant that like if it drops in your sink, all right, and um, and you have a regular sink, you know, made of like waterproof or whatnot material, um, it'll stay in your sink. You can't even brush it off. That's how like sticky it gets after a while. And that kind of proves to me how waterproof it is <laughs> and how long it lasts on the skin. Now I do recommend that you clean your, um, you know, you cleanse your face afterwards because <clears throat> you don't want to keep that on because you want your skin to breed, but it looks so natural and I love it. Uh, with that said, I was watching Instagram and somebody was raving about Laura Geller Beauty Ingenuity Foundation, which is baked foundation made from Italy. All right, so they go to Italy and they've baked all of their foundation and turned it into some kind of like powdered form, you guys. All right, I got it in the shade tan. All right, again, I'm a little bit darker um, this time of year. I know a lot of you may be a little bit, um, you know, lighter, obviously, because you're not exposed to the sun, but our weather here in Arizona is just pretty, pretty good in the winter. We don't really have a rough winter. So with that said, I went for a dark, um, a shade darker. And now this is Balance and Brighten Foundation. Okay, so Balance and Brighten foundation. This is the travel format. So I wanted to try something small before purchasing the bigger one, which is a little bit more expensive. So I was able to get my hands on this baby and I'm so excited because I got it last night and I'm like, I can't wait to try it, but why don't I do it uh, online and share it with my beautiful followers? Um, or if you haven't followed yet, please take a minute, subscribe and click the notification bell, you guys. I'm going to give you tricks and tricks on how to apply, uh, follow your dream as far as airlines concerned and becoming a flight attendant. And I also give beauty tips, um, <clears throat> uh, you know, just for you to look your best. And also if you guys are wanting are one of my lucky bracelets, all right, they're wealth bracelets and I do them from every, you know, pricing from low range all the way up to the real gold, which is what I'm wearing right now. So if you guys are interested in my bracelet and lucky bracelet and wealth bracelet, you could go to powerfulbracelet.com. There's no asset bracelet. So um, check that out if you get a minute. But um, if you guys are interested in this, I am going to do a tutorial on how it applies, what it's going to look like. I'm going to do my one face here, which is probably going to look weird, but I'm going to do my True Match Nude which is the serum that they came out not too long ago and people are raving about it. And it was just literally for a while, I could not get my hands on it, all right? I found it on Amazon, took a little bit to get it. Then I actually found it at my local pharmacy, which every time I go there, it's just sold out. It is a hot seller, you guys. You have to get your hands on that. But I haven't tried this one yet, so we'll see if I can. See, this is a little bit heavy and it's big. 
Uh, I wouldn't mind traveling with this, which is so much easier, and I could just kind of retouch my makeup throughout the day. This I can't. Once I put it on, you can't, you know, I don't want to be traveling with something because this is really, really liquid, you guys. And when I say really, really, and it's very messy, as you can see here, it's really hard to clean, as I said. And as you can see, it's so liquid that it's very messy. See around here, the rim. It is not fun <laughs> as a foundation to have because you're always cleaning it and then it stains. And when it stains, it stays. Like you cannot do anything about the stain. So it stains your face, literally. But um, I love the consistency. I love how it just kind of penetrates my skin. I love how it's so dewy and it makes it look so natural. So I can go run with it. I could go to the gym. Nobody knows I have makeup on. It really absorbs in the skin and it's got benefits because it's got hyaluronic acid which helps your skin with all these imperfection that you have and it has helped my skin everybody's always complimenting my skin like oh you have beautiful skin and as you all know i've turned 50 recently the in december so uh, a lot of people tell me you don't look 50 and it's a lot of i contribute that yes to my jeans thank you mom thank you grandma because i know they were they're in the uh you know my grandma was what in her 80s and looked like she was like in her 50s. She had beautiful skin, and my mom even till today, uh, you look at her and she looks beautiful as well. So, I you know obviously partly that, uh, but also I've been taking care of my skin since I'm very young, and I take pride in what I purchase, just like my hair. I'll I'll, I'll purchase the right products and the good products for me, and I will invest. You know when it comes to my deodorant, um, well I make my own as you all know deodorant and lip balm those are things that are really important that penetrate through the pores um and then hair and skin which i think is really important anything else <laughs> um and i don't necessarily clean my makeup before bed which is so bad but i guess it's working for me right because <laughs> i'm not seeing anything wrong with my skin yet uh, but i'm sure i will <laughs> um all right and a good scrub you guys i scrub my face every day which you're not supposed to because it does remove the first layer of your skin and it exposes the sun to your skin which is not good that's why you need a really good spf which i'm just newly investing now in my creams my number seven foundation used to have a 15 spf which was great now i fell in love with this guy but he or she does not have an spf which i'm kind of disappointed about so i have to add an extra layer of spf which kind of changes the consistency a little bit of this liquid but i haven't put any spf which is horrible i should invest in, in one i should i mean i've made my own before i just haven't had a chance to do it which is a no-no this is something i really need to do because as you age the uvs come right through your skin and start damaging your skin and you don't want that Anyways, going back to the Balance and Brighten. Now, they came up with two foundation. One is Balance and Brighten, which is the one that I have because I want to brighten my skin. You know, as you get older, you know, things start sagging. <coughs> you start getting like darker spots. Uh, and then they made another one, which I believe is Balance and Glow. So when you have the glow, it's almost like when you put that glow around here or inside of your eyes and then you see that glow when you move. I wasn't too particular about wanting that my whole face to glow. I wanted more of a brightening. So I took the, so you have two to choose from uh, and then I took the brighten one. So with that said, I have moisturized my skin. I am starting my new line of moisturizer. This is what it's gonna look like. It's beautiful. Um, it's called Fit Bunny Cat. Um, and then I have my instant facelift, which I will put right now. I've already put my moisturizer, so I'm gonna put my facelift. You dab, dab, just a little bit. Put it under your eyes. This stuff is incredible, you guys. Uh, it gives you an instant facelift, all right? It doesn't pull or tug or kind of leave a white film once it dries. It just penetrates literally like right away. And it gives you such a beautiful glow. I love how it penetrates and it doesn't stay on your skin and then you're all oily and whatnot. Um, as you can see, it's super dry. Um, it's not like oily or anything. I just love how it makes me feel. I usually put it literally like around my eyes because that's where, you know, you show aging. And I will put it on my neck because obviously as you get older, everything starts showing here. <laughs> you know how that goes, right? Um, so if you are starting to think of taking care of your skin, of using these products, um, I would say start at about 20, between 25 and 30. That's when I started seeing a change in my skin. Uh, wrinkles started uh, coming in. <clears throat> and a lot of the powdered form 
foundation or powders would just settle in. Um, I started with Bare Minerals and it was just horrible. It just didn't work for me. This is why I was very skeptical about this, but a lot of people my age rave about how this does not crease in the wrinkles and does not age you. So with that said, let's get started. I understood from what I understood from the videos, you can take any, um, you know, brush. I have Hilarico, Hilarico, and I love how it's flat. It used to be white. I kind of used it not too long ago, but it, I'll cleanse it right now. All right. So again, this is Laura Geller, you guys. Okay. And this is her baked foundation. So I'm going to go ahead. And I heard that you have to kind of like swirl it in there. Let's do a, a test just to see. You're supposed to staple it in and not like rub it. So I'm going to do exactly that. So I'm going to take some and there's already a little hole that's kind of like creating as it, you can see right there. Hmm. Okay. And then we're just going to swap it. And what it looks like, it's very natural. I am not seeing where the foundation is coming through. It's very uh, light to medium coverage. Uh, let me try it. We're going to do the right side of my face. And we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, I have absolutely no makeup, you guys. Absolutely nothing. Uh, this is my bare, uh, my bare skin from when I wake up in the morning. This is what I look like. There's nothing on my skin other than my moisturizer. And let's see how this works. Now, I don't have anything to protect my foundation. You know how people have some kind of base before they put their foundation? I don't even have that because I just want to see how the foundation will absorb the makeup. Alrighty, I'm going to put some on the top here because I do intend to put some... Um, Again, staple, staple. So I do intend to put some of the eyeshadow that I love, which I'm sure you've seen a lot of the videos. Um, okay, so I am seeing definitely a difference. You see how this is a little bit on the shinier side and this is a little more, more matte. Um, <clears throat> again, I don't have any high expectation, but people have raved about this foundation and I just said to myself, I'm gonna have to try it. So again, uh, I'll swerp it in, tap it, I'm just going to go in there. Okay, so I can still see through my skin. I'm not seeing a big difference as far as... See, I love full coverage, you guys. I love to cover everything. Especially, I have my sun damage spot. I have a larger one here. I don't know if you guys see it. Just from driving, <clears throat> the sun is always hitting on my face. And I don't necessarily use any protection now lately, which is not good. Always go down to the neck because you don't want that orange line and then not have anything here because you always want to bring it down very important and i'm not supposed to brush it down like i did okay so this would be the first layer Alrighty. so what do you guys think if i'm to compare i mean that you could see there is something um i don't want to see here in the mirror because there's like a cute little mirror on this one side and then there's you could see through on this side so yeah you can see me so it's kind of cute. Can you kind of look? And I'm going to use that. I have other mirrors that are a little bit bigger. <laughs> I think I'm going to use a bigger mirror just to get a good idea. If I need another layer. Let's see here. Okay. So, verdict, you guys. I know this camera is not the best. It is my iPhone camera. So it's probably not the best. But you can actually see a little difference from this to this. Okay. So, verdict is in. Let's see. So I'm seeing a lot of orange. Okay. <laughs> no, it's not even. Right. So, uh, I mean, if you have any issues with your skin, it won't cover it that much. Like I said, the coverage is very light to medium just because it does give you color, but it doesn't give you coverage is how I feel. All right. I mean, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful finish. I like how it doesn't dry up too, too much. A little bit here, which is what I don't want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it another layer. Gosh. All right, so we're going to go again. And we're going to give it another layer. See, I'm already not happy about giving this another layer. Just because once I put my foundation, I want to be done, you guys. I want to get out of the house. I want to make a YouTube video. I want to be done. So just the fact that I need to give it another layer is not really what I want to do, but 
I like that if I'm out of a foundation or I'm in a hurry and then I need to go to the store, I'm not gonna come back home to put my foundation so I can carry this and kind of like decorate my face, so to speak. <laughs> okay, so this would be another layer, you guys. Okay, you could see it really much here. I don't know if you guys could see how this is so white. And this is kind of like that tan color. Um, again, I don't mind when it's dark. It just looks okay on me. All right, let's look again in the mirror to double check to see how this... All right, so I don't think it's transferable because I'm putting my fingers on it. I'm not seeing any transfer, so this is a good thing. It does absorb in the skin pretty well. I mean, I don't hate it. Is it going in my, it's not going in my crease, which is pretty good as well. It's really important. That was my main concern that it went into my, now I had some popcorn yesterday. We did go to the movies. So I get very inflated under the eyes because of the salt intake. That happens to me every time we go to the movies. So it's a good thing because I want to see if it's gonna go in the lines, all right? It's okay. I mean, I'm not, there's like some spots here that just don't get covered. Um, let's try again. Okay, now they are. I don't know if it's because of the fun, uh, the cream. Um, if you don't apply the cream completely all over, then what happens is it just does not, you know, kind of leaves places that are a little bit darker than the others. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead with my L'Oreal True Match Nude. And we're gonna go ahead and cover this side and I'm gonna do it with a sponge, you guys, okay? Um, <clears throat> I love this stuff, you guys, like seriously, you'll see the difference. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a few drops here. Okie dokie. And then I'm just gonna go and apply. It is so easy, coverage is so quick. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my little mirror here. Okay, oh, look at that. It just penetrates you guys and look how flawless I mean this is my go-to all the time I just love it I'm gonna do half of my nose I could already see a difference in the color um, this is more subtle as far as a foundation it looks more like a skin the other one looks more like a tan tan um, and this is so messy you guys have no idea <laughs> this is so so messy <laughs> oh yeah yeah and I'm on my working desk too I usually do this in the, um, and I tried it with my fingers. It doesn't apply as good as if you're putting it on a sponge. So I'm more of a sponge kind of a girl. I think just pressing it in as so, just really guarantees that your skin will be emerged in this product. And um, the finish is incredible. It's so beautiful, it really is. And it gives it kind of like, as I said, a, um, this is more like a matte finish and this is more like a dewy, you know, like your skin type thing. You just have to wait a little bit before you put my, your makeup because it's still fresh and my uh, beauty blender is actually damp, damped, dumped, you know, wet. <laughs> I put some uh, water in it and so there you go. So we're going to go ahead and so yeah, I just passed it under the water. Look at this finish, beautiful. Okay, well again, I mean, I am trying to be objective here and not, you know, take one side over the other because obviously I'm used to this one. But you could see right now, I want you guys to see the finish. So how, see the, the dewiness, how it just kind of penetrates into your skin and looks like your skin. This one is a little bit more blotchy, a little bit. I don't know if it's because I didn't put something under my foundation uh, to even out um you know right after my cream to even out my face before i put that powder but you're gonna see how the color is a little bit off right um yeah it's more of a, like an orangey and i think it's more orange here than it is over there all right it kind of looks weird now because <laughs> i look like an indian <laughs> okay as you can see now we're gonna go ahead with and we're gonna put the makeup just the way that i put it every day and I want to see how it feels. Yeah, I think I went probably a shade too dark here uh, if you compare it to this one, but we'll even it out with this, um, I, I swear by uh, Milani, which is a big bronzer, Soleil. Soleil, which is the one I always use and I love it. I just, this is another brush, by the way. Remember, I applied with this one. 
And you can apply with any brush that's kind of like an applicator for foundation. And I just dab, 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 just to give it a little bit of that sun-kissed uh, look. All right, and we're gonna go and try to match and see if this side will take my makeup on top. I'm really curious to see. I should have tied up my hair. Maybe I could tie up my hair. I don't have any elastic. All right, so I'm curious to see if once I put this little, this is kind of like my contour. I wanna see how it takes it. All right. Maybe I should have done all of my face with the Laura Geller, but because now it's gonna look weird. But I love, actually, I'm really liking this. It's really taking my makeup really well. It's not, um, you know, leaving streaks of any kind. It's really mending my makeup in a right way, which I'm very excited about. And it's not transferring the makeup over to the other side, which I really love because I was worried that this one would kind of transfer as I'm kind of brushing over all right so i'm liking the way that it's blending right now i really do all right and now we're going to move on to the um <clears throat> we're going to go again as you can see i'm using a lot of powders but that's not my foundation i've never used powdered foundation just because it goes in the crease and it ages you uh it ages me anyways i'm going with rose doro which is a big powder blush all right, I swear by Milani, you guys, like Milani has the best baked ones and it's number zero, zero two. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take my little Mally brush and go in there, okay? And then we're gonna go and give ourselves some beautiful little cheeks. I usually smile and then you'll see the Adam's, uh, not the Adam's apple, but that's the Adam's apple. <laughs> You'll see the little cheeks here forming and you just kind of go up. All right. That's how I know where to put my blush. There you go. Smile. And then you just kind of apply. Oh, it is actually stunning on this side. I could actually see. Oh, wow. I'm kind of liking this side, actually. <laughs> this is insane. I was really kind of skeptical. Now, obviously, you're always trying to reflect the sun. So the sun, when you're getting baked or cooked or suntan, it always kind of, you always get a little tan here, a little bit on the cheek, yeah? A little bit on the chin. So I'm gonna go, oh, it is absolutely stunning with, it's funny because the base just wasn't looking too good, but now that I'm putting makeup on it, it is taking my makeup beautifully. And it actually, this takes a little bit more time to show and this one shows right away on it. It picks up the makeup really, really well, which I'm very impressed. I am super, super, super impressed. Now I'm gonna go ahead with my, um, what is it called again? Uh, that's So Betty eyeshadow. All right, I love my eyeshadows and now I have to find my little brush. Okay, so I'm gonna go and take the double brush. I have the small end, the big end and the small end. Uh, I'm gonna go with the small end and I'm gonna do Damp in here, and I'm actually going to do this with the mirror because I can't really see it on the phone. There you go. So I go like this. Go. I love to use um, eyeshadow because eyeshadow instead of an eyeliner lasts a lot longer, you guys. And for some reason, for me, eyeshadow does not look good. I mean, eyeshadow does look good, but the eyeliner does not look good. Um, okay, now I'm going to take the other side, which is a little bit thicker. Now, don't ask me where I got this. I got this from a palette that I bought and I stole the um, brush and I have my own eyeshadow now. So I don't even use that whole palette. So when I say I stole, that's mine. <laughs> All right, so what I do is I like to go really dark here and I kind of smudge it. Like, like I said, you guys, I'm not a professional when it comes to that, but I'm a minimalist is how they say it. I like to go very light, but make it look like you have something on, you know, you're not naked. So I like to go really dark here and kind of work my way in and just even it out. Wow. I love this finish, you guys, this is insane. And I like to kind of wing it out a little bit because if I use a pencil, I have a hooded, um, uh, what do you call it, eyelids. And what happens is it's really hard to go in. As you can see, they're just drooping here. So it's really important to accentuate the corners and kind of build this little wing. So I do it with my brush 
like this and I always go over it once I close my eyes. I mean, open my eyes, but like my hooded um, eyelids just show here and I'll just kind of work on top because that's what I would look like as I, as I open my eyes, but without like stretching them out, you know? So I'm doing what works for me. Whoa, you guys, I am loving the look. Hmm, okay, I'm impressed so far. I am absolutely impressed. And as you guys know, I am not big on lipstick. I don't like red lipstick. I will never wear red lipstick unless I'm on a flight attendant interview. <laughs> it does not look good to me. Uh, all I do is a little bit of lip balm because my lips get really dry during the makeup application. I notice the right side is a lot more drier than the left side, obviously, for obvious reason. You're putting powder versus liquid. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead like this. Mm -hmm. All right, mwah, mwah, mwah. Wow. I'm really liking this color. Uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it throughout the day, you guys. That's the exciting part is I'm gonna be wearing it throughout the day and I wanna show you how it's looking. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit of, I'm going here with my Hololite Cream Illuminator. All right, as you can see, it's got a little bit of shimmer and I love the finish. It's a cream, kind of like a cream. And I like to put it right here just to get that little glow, as you can see as I'm moving, okay? I like to put it inside of my eyes and right here on the side of the cheeks. Okay, it's feeling pretty dry when I'm doing this compared to this side. Yeah, this side is like moist and beautiful. It's a little dry, so it's hard to kind of like spread it out even, which is, I think, expected. All right, so you're gonna put a little bit on the top, the cupid's bow, a little bit here, all right, and just where the sun would reflect. All right, you guys? On top here, I like to eliminate the top as well. So I'm gonna do just the way I do my makeup every day and I just wanna see, okay. I wanna see how this turns out. Okay, now that we are done with all of this, I'm gonna finish my look with Mally. I love Mally. Mally is beautiful. So positive. If ever you get a chance, you guys go on Mally.com or you can find her on Facebook. She's incredible. And she's always like, hi, my bourgeois, my beautiful, beautiful babes. <laughs> she's so cute. I'm using the Evercolor Poreless Face Defender. What I love about Mally's uh, face defender is that, um, as you can see, it's just a weird piece of makeup. It really is. And you have to get used to this. Um, it looks like wax. Okay. So it's kind of like hard, but when you touch it, it has the little finish. Now this is supposed to finish your makeup and make you not, um, especially when you're, cause she did a lot of makeup for all the artists and, and singers and actors. And she was hired when she was younger and then kind of developed her own line. And, um, I, I really, 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 really love her. She's awesome and her makeup is really right on point. And it's it's made to be fast and it's made for mature skin, even for younger skin, because I've used her since I'm in my 20s. Um, but I can't live without this little guy. So this little guy, what it does is that, again, it has this little like almost waxy finish. Then you take a sponge, it usually comes with huge sponge, but I didn't need it um, in her package because I already had one. This is not it. Okay, because her sponge are big and super thick, so you just kind of go and dab. I'm going to use the tiny one because I had the little portable one, and I finished it, so I got the bigger one. So what you do is you just kind of like kind of roll it on there, and you can't really see. You might say a little white finish right here. And what you do is you dab it. Watch the difference before and after. So see how my nose, the tip of my nose is shiny. Okay, so what you do is just kind of dab. You don't rub. You just dab, and it kind of diminishes the shine. Okay, so I'm gonna go do that to my face. And it's really important on camera because, especially when you're doing movies and stuff, um, as an actor, I remember they really took a lot of time just to eliminate the shine because it looks like you're sweaty or it looks unfinished when you do not apply this. So whenever I'm talking to you guys and I'm doing a video, I don't wanna look like I'm shining. See here, it's all shiny and it just looks yucky. So you kind of bring it down so you just kind of like rub it like this against that solution or whatever you want to call it, that waxy finish. <laughs> and then as you can see, there's no more shine. Do you see that? 
So I swear by that. And if you guys are interested in all of these products that I'm talking about, I will leave a link down below and you guys can click the link and purchase from the link. And that gives me a little commission just for referring them, but I'm not hired to speak of them. Nobody's hired me to say good things about them. This is my own personal use. And I'm just being honest as to if I like them or not. And then we're gonna reduce the shine here. I like to put it all over my face. I love also how you can use this. You guys, you put your cream at night and you'll use this over your cream when you go to bed. It just preserves the cream. Um, it keeps it in your face and it just gives you an overall amazing look. I love this stuff. If you look at my face right now, it looks polished. It looks amazing. It just kind of gives you that youthful, beautiful look. I'm really loving this side. Okay, so I'm seeing it a little bit drier. So when I do smile, you see it a little more uh, wrinkled than usual just because, but it's not that it's drying. It's probably just my skin, but yeah, I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it for something like a quick fix. I'd probably turn to that. Um, oh, I forgot the best part, which is the most important part, the instant uh, age rewind. So you wanna make sure that you put that and it's okay if you put it on top of your makeup, and that's fine. Now the right way to put it as a mature, um, matured skin woman or men, you know, men do put makeup depending on the, you know, if they like it or not can't discriminate here all right so the right way i know that back then it was like the huge triangle not anymore you guys you want to create kind of like a facelift effect all right and what you do is and don't be scared because you finish you, you kind of finished your whole skin and you forget and it's okay if you do you just go in there with your sponge and you kind of bring it in and you kind of touch a little bit but it won't be as dark so you go in and then out so it kind of lifts your face a little bit See how I didn't do it here yet? And you're gonna see there's kind of like a lift being formed. So those are all the little tricks of aging skin that I've gathered along the way. So you kind of go in and up. And what that does is it covers the wing as well and it kind of brings your face up a little bit. There you go. I love it. I'm gonna go and fix it a little bit. Now that I'm seeing it, I love it. I like to use right here around my nose where it's always red okay yeah, i can still see some redness coming through like i said it's not a hundred percent full coverage like this side is um you can see a lot of things through it which is fine um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back into the laura geller and i'm gonna retouch it just to see around the area where i just put some of that stuff and see if I could probably cover the red a little bit more. Okay, on that. And then I'm gonna add some of that blush. Remember you guys, this is a work in progress. I am just trying this for the first time with you all. And I would love your opinion as to what you guys think from the looks of it. I wish I had more light so you guys could see. Um, this, I am impressed. Like I have to be honest with you guys, I am so impressed. I love it. I really do. Now I'm going to tie up my hair or just kind of put my hair back real quick. And I want you guys to see it in the light. Okay. This is the L'Oreal and this is Laura Gutler. What do you guys think? Not bad for powder, right? When you think about it, like it's almost the same give and take. Okay. So my opinion right now, if I was to look at it, a little darker obviously you can see this is a lot paler than this one um gives me more of that i love the finish it's not powdery which is really impressive i just i'm like in shock really i love it what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wear it throughout the day and i'm gonna keep you posted probably in a few hours here to let you know how the makeup is holding if it's kind of breaking out or transferring or you know kind of getting oily or anything and then we're going to come back later on and i'm going to show you how the finish but i am loving it seriously this is definitely something and again i didn't like it when i first made it as a base i wasn't impressed but the minute i put my makeup on it 
um, like the blush and the um, the contour, um, you know, Milani that I use, the Soleil, Bake Soleil, just give me a little tan. It came out so beautiful. And I am in love with it because I'm seeing it in the light here. It looks just like a regular foundation, you guys. Yeah. Unbelievable. I love it. So I'm very happy with this. And uh, what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm just going to keep you informed throughout the day. And I cannot wait to show you the results. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think so far? Um, just think about it. Let me know what you guys see yourself wearing. Again, mature skin is pretty hard. It's all like try, you know, it's, it's a trial and error type of thing. You never know what's going to come out of you trying different things. Um, I'm always skeptical about powders, so I stay away from them, but they've raved so much about it. And I've seen reviews. I've seen honest reviews. I've seen this honest reviews because a lot of people are paid to say things. But after seeing that commercial, I was just like, I have to try it. I mean, I'll just go with the smaller size. And I'm very, very, very impressed. I'm very pleased. And um, again, like I said, it's not full coverage. So if you're expecting to hide all of your imperfection, it won't work. Uh, if you have, you know, medium to oily skin or medium to dry skin, it just feels really good. It doesn't feel bad at all. I love the finish. Um, so comparable, but it doesn't... See, the problem with this is it doesn't have... SPF, which I wish it did, because I was hoping to graduate to an SPF one. I'll have to look into it, but but anyways, this is my face. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will keep you posted. Or hey guys, so I am back. It's been about, I wanna say four to five hours now um, since I've put my makeup and I wanted to give you an update. So as you can see, well, I don't have any lipstick now. Um, you know, this is the L'Oreal side still looking amazing uh colors are still there they're not coming off it's not tacky or oily or anything but then looking on this side, i don't know if you guys could see the crease here see how here it's not that bad and here for some reason it's just accentuating every little pore every little hole i'm not really liking the way that it's turning out look at me carefully you'll see how smooth the side it still is um i love the finish and I just don't like how, like, you could see that a lot of the powder kind of settle into the cracks and fine lines. And it's not looking as good as the first time that I did it. So I'm kind of disappointed. It's almost like aging me because you can see the line is more defined compared to this one here. Um, and look, see the wrinkles too? They're very accentuated with the powder uh, look. So I'm not liking how botchy it is also. Uh, color almost kind of came off. And... Um, yeah, I'm not liking the look. I really am not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove it and match my face because I am leaving and I'm meeting with a friend. So, but with that said, um, definitely you guys, my final impression. At first I wasn't crazy when I put it on. Again, I will try it with maybe some kind of base before I do put the foundation, maybe that'll help. Maybe you guys wanna try that, but putting it straight after on your moisturizer is not working out. Um, but at, at first, when I first put the foundation, it was, I wasn't crazy about it. Then I put my makeup on it. Makeup went on really easily, but after, you know, wearing it, eating it and whatnot, eating it <laughs> after eating, you could see I'm not crazy about the finish. It just kind of settles in my cracks and lines and whatnot. And I'm not liking the botchiness of it. So to me, it's not going to be a no-no. It's going to be a definite no-no. I am not going to wear it again. I might have it just as a backup in case I have no makeup, but I am not going to wear it daily. I'm definitely going to stick to my L'Oreal. Um, so that is my final review. Uh, I'm not going to check in again tonight just because I'm removing it now because I can't stand it. <laughs> but I just wanted to kind of give you an update on what's going on and uh, what my impressions are. So... Anyways, I hope this was informative. You guys, let me know what you think. And if you do own it, uh, what did you do to make it maybe last longer and not go into the creases? But again, to me, powder, I just don't, I don't care in what form it is. It just does not work for my mature skin. I've given it so much chances and so many chances, so many products. It's not working. And I was really hopeful for this one, but it didn't work out. So, oh, well, too bad. I'm sticking to L'Oreal. <laughs> All right, guys, see you. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. All right, guys. Yeah. Bye. Okay, guys, so I took off everything on the right side, which was so funny because I just washed the right side of my face and I've reapplied the uh, L'Oreal on the right side. And you can see what a difference. See how it just flows and it's dewy and it's even on both sides and I love it. 
So, I'm so sad. <laughs> I really wanted that little thing to work because I figured I can travel with it so easily. Um, you know, it's so easy to apply and just kind of put some on, but it is what it is. Um, but I love my L'Oreal. I could probably put it in a smaller bottle and kind of travel with it, but for some reason it absorbs really much um, in the sponge, so you don't get much on your skin per se, unless you slap it right on your skin, but then you have to work fast because it dries up and it gets very like, it dries up really quickly, so it's hard to kind of spread, right? So you have to work pretty fast with it. <clears throat> but either way, I'm really happy with the results of my L'Oreal. So I'm still giving it a thumbs up. And Laura and uh, Laura Geller, I'm sound sorry, not working for me. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, <clears throat> the, oh, look at this, beautiful now. See how it was creasing really, really bad with the other one and this time it's not doing that. Yeah, see the big difference? Anyways, I see it. Maybe this camera is not capturing it, but as long as, you know, I know it. Uh, but if you guys thought this was an informative video, please make sure that you leave me a thumbs up because it just kind of pulls up the algorithm of my videos and in turn, it makes me, uh, you know, it makes a lot of people see it and I wanna make sure I inform everyone that, hey, this is not probably the foundation for you and I could save you some money because I spend it for you. So now I can tell you not to use it. Uh, but otherwise, <coughs> Otherwise, I hope that uh, you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my videos. And um, I cover pretty much a lot of content, including my bracelets, which I'm wearing, the love bracelet, which I'm really excited about. So, hope you guys see you later. And thank you for watching. I'll have some more videos uh, and tips and tricks soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.